in this video. I'm gonna show you how to play Scotty Doesn't Know by Lustra off of their album, Left For Dead. And if that sounds good to you, smash that like button and stay tuned. What's up, Alt Rockers? America's favorite guitar playing ginger is back with another guitar lesson. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Scott, and on this channel, we learn how to play the best rock songs of the past and how to produce the best rock songs of the future. Leave a comment down below if Scotty Doesn't Know was your favorite pop punk song of the 2000s. And let's dive in. <laughs> The song's gonna be in standard tuning and it'll open with this riff. So this will be a guitar only riff and it'll sound like this. So it'll repeat that riff a few times. What we're doing here is individual note picking each note's gonna get two picks, down and up. Okay, so we're gonna start third fret, sixth string. Okay, and then we go the octave of that, which is fifth fret, fourth string. So we have. And then we go fourth fret of the fourth string. And then back to fifth fret. Okay, so two hits every note. That's the first little sequence. The next one starts fifth fret, sixth string. And then the same five, four, five on the fourth string. So we have this so far. And then the next one is third fret, fifth string. Same five, four, five there. And from here, what we're gonna do is slide up to the seventh fret of the fourth string, two, back down to the fifth fret, then fourth fret, and on fifth fret. So all together, we have this. Repeat. So at the beginning of the song, we'll play that once through, and then the vocal will kick in, and then we'll play it two more times. So we'll play that intro riff three times through. So the third time, after the third time there, what we'll do is we'll kick into the first chorus and it'll sound like this. So what we're doing there is using a combination of major chords and power chords. So what we'll do is we'll start with this G major chord first. Okay, so that's the G major chord shape. What we're gonna do, so this is like a, it's like a G power chord, but what we're gonna do is add the fourth fret of the third string with the middle finger. So we'll add that note, and we're gonna kind of ignore first and second strings because those don't really ring out in the song. So we're focusing on strings six, five, four, and three. That's the right hand rhythm. Down, 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 up, down, up. And we transition to the next major chord, second fret, fifth string. Okay, so again, that's like a power chord, but what we're gonna do is also include fourth fret of the second string. So I'm just gonna lay my ring finger flat 
to play fourth fret of fourth, third, and second strings. Slide that exact shape up one fret to the third fret of the fifth string. And then we start to repeat. And then to end the chorus, what we do is we play a power chord, fifth fret, sixth string, four hits, and then power chord, third fret, fifth string, four hits, and then we enter the next verse section. So the next verse, what we're going to be doing is palm muting power chords. So it'll sound like this. Okay, so that's the first little run through there. So it's just palm muted eighth notes, starting on the G power chord, third fret, sixth string. Move up to fifth fret, sixth string. Then third fret, fifth string. Then we go down to first fret, sixth string. And the pattern that we're gonna use here is this. We're gonna hit it once with the palm mute, then accent the second hit, so. And then two more palm mutes, so. Then we're gonna go over to first fret, fifth string, hit that, and then back to first fret, sixth string. So all together. Okay, and then from the top of that verse, it sounds like this. Okay, then we start to repeat that power chord sequence. This time we slide up to eight of the fifth string. Let the chords ring out now. Four hits, back down to three. And then we enter into the next chorus section. The next chorus is exactly the same as the first, so it sounds like this. And then we're into the next verse. Now this verse starts exactly the same as the last verse. Palm muted power chords. Okay. Now at this point, what we're gonna do, we're gonna come up and bar 10th fret of the second and third string. We're gonna hit that twice, then bar eighth fret, second and third string, one hit, 10th fret again, half step bend, and then back down to the eighth fret, so. Okay, so from the top of that verse, so far we have this. Okay, and this verse is not done yet because this is twice as long as the last verse. So we go back into that palm muted section. Okay, that should be familiar. Next time through. We go up to that eighth fret, back down to third, and then we're into the next chorus. So this chorus, like the verse, is twice as long as the choruses before it. So this is gonna sound like this. So that's literally just playing the chorus twice through. Same exact chord structures. 
Now at this point, we enter the breakdown. So this breakdown section is going to have a guitar with a wah pedal on. So you're gonna flick your wah pedal on, and then you're gonna play this. Okay, so that's really all that first part of the breakdown is, is just, so that's 12th fret, second and third string. Down up, chicka, down. Slide out. Okay, same right hand pattern on this next chord, but now what we're doing is playing 12th fret, third string, 14th fret, fourth string, 15th fret, fifth string. Down up, chicka, down. Down up, chicka, down. Slide out. And then we'll flick the wah pedal off and we'll play these chords. So we're out of the wah situation now, and now we're gonna play these. Okay, so those chords, second fret, fifth string power chord, just straight quarter notes now with the right hand, just down, 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 down. Okay, kind of staccato, so don't let it ring out. Then we're gonna slide up here, seventh fret, fifth string, this minor chord shape, so that's like a power chord, but we're gonna add the eighth fret of the second string. We're gonna add that note. Okay, four quarter notes there. Then to the major chord shape, fifth fret, sixth string. This is an A major, like a power chord, but we're adding sixth fret, third string. Four quarter notes again. And then we're gonna end third fret, fifth string power chord, palm muted eighth notes and crescendo out of that. So altogether, that breakdown section will sound like this slow. Coming out of the breakdown, we kick back into that main riff. So we'll play the exact same main riff that we started the song with. Play that twice through. You also hear this kind of pick slide come in from another guitar. And then we'll enter the last chorus section. So the last chorus section, we're gonna be playing the exact same chords that we played in every other chorus. And this is gonna be a, a very extended chorus, so we're just gonna keep playing these chords. Okay, so we already know how to play that. You're just gonna keep playing those chords as the rhythm guitar. You're also gonna hear a lead part in the last chorus. And that lead part is just this kind of simple single note picking that sounds like this. So it just kind of keeps repeating that. What we're gonna do is start here, 16th fret, third string, then 14th fret, then 17th fret of the fourth string. And then we're gonna do this little run, 14 of the fourth, 17th of the fifth, back to 14 of the fourth, 17 of the fourth. Okay, and then we'll repeat, but instead of going back to this note, what we'll do is we'll bend 14th fret of the third string, one full step up. Then release it, and then continue the pattern. So we'll play through that pattern a few times. So we'll play through that. C 
sequence here. And then towards the end of this last chorus, what we'll do is we'll play the exact same notes, but we'll go up an octave. So then we'll play this. So exact same notes, exact same pattern, just up an octave. So what we'll do is bend 17th fret, full step, release, pick 17th fret, 15th fret, that's all on the first string. Then we do 17, 15, 17 of the second, and then back to 15 of the first and repeat. Okay, and don't forget that's all being played over the chorus chords, which is this. And then the very last time through, we'll go and on that G major chord. Did you first hear Scotty Doesn't Know in the movie Euro Trip? Comment down below. And while you're down there, click the subscribe button to join the congregation and get more guitar lessons and videos every single week. Thanks so much for joining me. And remember, hug the gingers in your life because we do, in fact, have souls. <laughs>